guys all hello it's been a while it's been a while uh, since I've been on because I've been feeling strongly to really not uh, you know to really not do any more do any public you know uploads for a while and just kind of you know kind of focus on you know um, the life I want I say it like that and here's what I want to say though uh, I want to talk about divestment but when I say divest I mean divest from whatever is not healthy for you I've said this before divest from whatever is not healthy for you because if you just say and I don't, I, I, I'm through with the whole race. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm over this, the, the black women, the black men, and, you know, but and I, I'm really over race. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm over the concept of race <laughs> because I don't want that. I could choose if I want that in my reality or not, regardless of whatever media chooses to put out there or regardless of whatever anybody else want to call themselves holding on to, I can choose what I hold on to and I'm letting go of race because you are so much, so you might, if you, if you feel like that's the right thing to do, you might want to divest from race. You might want to divest from black because of what I have realized is that black especially it is it seems like it overshadows your humanity it overshadows your spirit it overshadows your soul it overshadows you as a woman or a man it just overshadows the actual person and it's just you're just black and what is black give me a definition of black give me a definition of black and who told you that you were black? Who gave that to you? Who gave you black? And and what what is black used for in this system? What is it used for in this system? What kind of hierarchy is black in this system? Okay. So you know, I've decided to definitely divest from black. Whether other people agree with it or not, that that's not really for me to be concerned with. Okay, they can disagree all they want to. Uh, people have a right to do that. I won't even get mad. I won't even get upset if people disagree because they have a right. They have a right to do that. Now, if somebody get mad at you or get mad at me because I divest, I decide to divest from that term or the concept of race then they need to take a deep look within and find out find out what's going on with them that they would get so upset that I'm making decisions that don't even that, that doesn't even affect their life doesn't affect their livelihood by personal decision so anytime somebody want to get that upset that you decide to divest from a concept of race especially the concept of being black that seems to overshadow who you truly are as a spirit that's what it's doing that is something that is very toxic it's something that's very toxic and i choose not to associate with black anymore uh that's me i've been stopped doing it so when i refer to other people as black women or black men it's only kind of showing respect for the people who still want to go by being called black but i, I i've been stopped seeing myself as black um, almost two years ago I stopped that okay so when I say black women I, I'm just saying that because some people still want to um, some people still prefer that now I want to also talk about divestment from when I say divestment from things that are unhealthy just whatever in your life that you consider unhealthy and for right now, for some people, it could be external, right? It could be what you think is external. Like maybe you in an environment that you don't care for. Maybe you live in a household where family members are every single chance they get, they get on your last nerve, right? And so it's a constant focus on the external 
and you're not really getting a chance to look within as much because there's so many distractions on the external environment. This was a case with me when uh, it was oh, it's over 10 years ago, right? Almost, it was almost about 13 years ago. Or 14 years ago, one of them. When I was living in the Midwest. And I was living with a relative. But they, they just felt like being, ugly. they felt like being so negative. They would literally wake up in the morning, come knock on the door I was staying in. And they would talk about, oh, yeah, I just woke up with some hell in me. This is what they would say. Yeah, I woke up with hell in me this morning. I woke up with hell in me. Excuse me if my nose is a little stuffy. It's a little cool outside. And it causes me to be a little stuffy. So I still hope that you can understand what I'm saying. But, yeah, the weather changed so drastically. Outside, it changes like all of a sudden it changed so drastically that it kind of messed with my sinuses a little bit. But anyway, so that's what she would say. Oh, I woke up with hell in me. It just just find a reason to be angry every morning to the point where I just moved. I left. And I didn't even tell her what I was doing because she was so negative. She would have she would have put all kind of negative seeds in my head to make me afraid. So I didn't even tell her what I was doing until it was just time for me to go. Okay, that's how when you're dealing with negative people like that, I'm not saying that everybody should do what I did, but dealing with negative people who just want to just, just be negative towards you, you can't even tell them your plans because they are so, that's just that's just how bad they are. But anyway, yeah, so sometimes the investment, it could be from external environments because it's hard to really deal with to to look within, I know, you know, I've, I know, I said a lot to look within and all that stuff. But when you're dealing, when you're in an environment where there is constant distraction, that you if you could be living with a person, or you could be in a neighborhood, or just in any situation, whatever the case may be, where you're dealing with a person or people that is it's very hard for you to concentrate on yourself like you want to and then divestment could for to start it, it would be from external distractions just so you can get to yourself and then you can start working on your inner self but you gotta it might be best to get away from a lot of those external distractions you know uh but yeah and so and then uh it could be um, internal stuff, like things that you could be holding on to, stuff that no longer serves you, things like that, right? So that's what, you know, that's why, because this the reason why I want to say this is this, because I know a lot of people talk about divestment. I have no problem with that. I really don't get into those messages a lot because it doesn't really pertain to my personal situation, honestly. That message does not, the way the messages are pushed on YouTube, the divestment messages, the way that it's pushed on YouTube is 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 not uh, related to my personal life. But there's always things for everybody to divest for. So I don't want to make this, a, especially the, the for what specifically I'm talking about right now, it's not just a so-called black woman thing. Divestment is a lifelong journey. I'm going to say it again. Divestment is a lifelong journey because you're constantly evolving, you're constantly growing, and you constantly you everything can't come off of you at once, right? So like once you get rid of the external distractions, right, and you start to deal with yourself, your shadow, your healing, whatever you want to do, it's a lifelong journey because everything cannot come off at one time. It can't just come off at one time. It can't, you know, every, it, it's a process. And that's why I call it a lifelong journey. Right? It could be dealing with emotional pain and traumas and stuff that you do, do that with. It. You got it. It's a lot of stuff to deal with once you get rid of those external distractions. So, uh, yeah, it's a lifelong journey. Now, when people talk about divestment for so-called black women, 
and divestment from either the black community or black men or whoever you want to this is not to take away from anybody's messages either i'm not trying to do that you want to divest from whatever it is that is keeping you from your true self you want to divest from whatever it is that is keeping you from your true self because until you connect to your divine self as long as you are stuck in your ego and when i say your ego i'm talking about who you think you are your identity your identity in, in what you would call this world which is not really real you're really not alive okay you're not you're not alive you think you're alive you think you wake up every day you think you go into the store you think you go into work it's really an illusion and you're actually i would say this in the nicest way you're actually still dead you're actually still dead so that's why I say divest from anything that is keeping you from connecting to who you truly are because who you truly are is not what's on your birth certificate. Who you truly are is not your personality. Okay? It's a role and a character that you're playing in this movie that you're in. The world is a stage. But nothing, it's not real. You, the identity you think you have is not real. So that's why, and I'm going to end it here, to divest from whatever it is that is keeping you away. It doesn't have to just be black men, and I'm not going to minimize the, the fact that, you know, maybe it is black men for a lot of women, and maybe it is the black community for a lot of uh, black neighborhoods for a lot of people. But the overall the overall thing I want to say is to divest from whatever does is keeping you from your true self. That's it. Because if you're not, because other than that, you're just, you're really dead. You think you're alive, but you're dead. And I'm not trying to uh, be religious by saying that. People I see every day, I go into the store, I go to a restaurant, no matter where I go, most of the people... They look like they're walking around. They drive in cars. But most of them are actually dead. They're dead because they're not real. They're not real. They're, they're, they're projections. That's what they are. They're projections. We have been, most of us only operate in our five senses still. We don't, we don't operate outside of our five senses. And so because we, most of us uh, just only stay reduced to our five senses we think that we see what we see is really real when it's not it's not real okay so that's all uh the only thing that is really alive is your true self is that that person that you see on your birth certificate or your license uh that is a character that is a uh it's an identity it's a part of the ego the ego the ego is an illusion of your mind it's an illusion of your mind so you it's not real it's not real okay and uh that's why most people are still dead that's why most the people are dead that you don't physically see their bodies laid on the ground because uh you know everything is energy anyway <laughs> so uh you don't feel you don't see like you don't see them laying out like they look like they're dead but people most people are actually dead because they think everything is real in their life they have no idea that they're not really connected to who they truly are they think their identity and who their name given to them when they were born and their parents they think that's that's they think that's real okay but yeah, that'll be it. Now talk later.